A patient came with a semen analysis report where there are millions of sperm but not a single sperm is moving. That means all the sperms were dead. That condition is known as necrosospermia. So hi friends, welcome to Origin Fertility and IVF. I am Dr. Rashmi Sharma. In this video, I am going to explain you about necrosospermia. What it is, how it can be diagnosed, what are the tests that need to do and how do you treat it and what could be the causes. Necrosospermia is not a very common condition. I must say, uh, 0.2 to 0.5 uh, percent patients who are suffering from infertility will have this condition. So, in a year, we see maybe one or two patients, right, where there are sperms, but all the sperms are dead. Right? What could be the causes? So, causes could be many, and the uh, you know the important thing is that we should always do a repeat semen analysis before saying that yes, it is a true case of necrosospermia. Why? Because though so many times this report may be false because of the wrong collection of sample. You might have used lubricants, they might be antiseptics, they might be you know the, the container which had some toxins and which killed the sperms. And there might be a history of prolonged anejaculation. So if there is a very long gap, two months, three months, six months gap, then in that case also a lot of sperms may come out to be dead. Though it is rare, but it can come out. So it is always better to give a second sample before labeling it as a true case of necrosospermia. If it is a true case of necrosospermia, there could be reasons like in the testis or in general in the body. In the testis, the most common thing is the infections. So if there are infections in the testis and in the reproductive tract, that infection can kill the sperms. And there could be other causes like varicocele. Varicocele is a lot of blood vessels around the testis which improve, increase the heat of the testis and can lead to damaged sperms. So there could be infections, there could be varicocele, there could be testicular trauma, uh, there could be testicular cancers and there may be some general causes like autoimmune diseases, meaning your body's immunity itself is acting against your sperms, leading to the formation of anti-sperm antibodies and killing those sperms. And there could be some genetic causes also, where sperms are okay but they have, uh, you know, they, they, they do not have the capacity to move and there are some genetic causes for that. Okay, so the causes could be many. One very important thing here is to differentiate that whether these sperms are actually dead or they are alive but not able to move, right? So there could be both the things. They could be that these are dead sperms. The other thing could be that they are alive but they are not able to move. So we have to do vitality tests to diagnose that. And the vitality tests are hyposmotic swelling test. And sometimes we put in a theophylline drop in the semen sample and then we can see some of the sperms to twitch. Okay, they start moving. Then we know that these are live sperms. And from live sperm, we can do test tube baby or IVF ICSI. We can do IVF ICSI from those sperms and a baby may be born. How do you treat it? So if you can find a positive factor like infection, of course we have to treat the infection, give antibiotics. If there is a varicocele, a significant varicocele that it might need to be operated. If your lifestyle is not good, you have alcohol, smoking and toxins, you know, all these things are to be taken care of. But ultimately, you might need IVF ICSI, right? If you are able to find, if you are able to find live sperm in your sperms in your semen with the help of vitality test, sometimes the vitality test also shows that there are no live sperms in the semen. In that case, we like to take the sperms from the testes, and from the testes, so many times we find live sperms, and from those live sperm, IVF ICSI can be done, and your baby can be born. So I would just say that do not lose hope. Even in patients where all the sperms are dead, they can have a baby from their own sperms. Thank you.